Hi, so I've gathered a collection of um, some books that are great for that 18 month old age range um, that are specifically awesome for our tactile learners, our kiddos like this one who love um, sensory stimulation as a part of their reading experience. I probably gathered too many, but let's get started. So I wanted to start with kind of the least amount of text and move on up because I wasn't sure exactly where your reader was at. So first I've got these um, slide and see books. I happen to have, oh boy, okay. I happen to have three of them, but there are actually, I think five now. There's one about dinosaurs and one about the zoo. So these are awesome. They have a little um, hole here and babies can, should not have tried to do this with my children in the room. <laughs> so the kids can slide this back and forth and make something happen in the picture. It's really neat because they're being able to do something tactile that's really unlikely to break. Like maybe some of the flaps can get ripped or bent. So we've got our giraffe eating. And in these books they also have what Esborn calls finger trails. So it's a little trail to slide your finger across. Oh, this one's cute. <gasps> Who's hiding? It's the spider. So again, these don't have a lot of text, but they're adorable. These are the slide and see books. And we have several of those. Next, I wanted to move on to our playbooks. I only have a couple, but there are a ton. This one doesn't have any flaps at all, but it's got a bunch of cool kind of, you can see the eyes on the owl or cut out. So it has a bunch of neat cutouts. There's texture all over the page. Not a lot of text, but you can start learning animal words this way. And as they get older, you can kind of turn it into a matching I game, can't find this. which is fun. So really cute. Again, with the finger trails, I can't find this. cute little cutout. I can't find this, so that's one of the playbooks, yeah. Colin. It's animal words. And then here's another one. This one, it's a lift the flap. So we're going to have flaps in here. We're going to have things to touch, more cutouts, more finger trails. So we've got a flap going here. Tons of stuff going on for your tactile learner in these books. Um, there's another one about colors. There's like... I don't know, there's a ton. There's one that's just supposed to be finger trails. So those are really, really awesome. Um, this one is crazy cool. It's called a luxury touch and feel board book in the catalog. It's animal hide and seek. And so on every page, there are gobs of things to feel. And there are also flaps in this one. And there's sort of a counting element to each, um, the animal yeah. that you're looking for on each page. Yeah. The amount of them increase. So we've got our three pigs, I mean the water, the food, there's stuff to touch on, tons of stuff to touch on every page. So that's animal hide and seek. And it goes on. Now moving on to a little more text. You might have seen these before. They're actually sold in a lot of stores. This is the That's Not My series. And now I believe there's 40 different titles, even That's Not My Meerkat. Um, we've got a couple. So this is That's Not My Hedgehog. And every page has something touchy-feely on it. And it also has this um, bold black outline, which is great for the younger ones to capture their attention. And there's a little mouse on every page, so you can find the mouse, which is fun. And there's a lot of repetition, so you know, that's not my hedgehog. Its paws are too soft. Also, you can learn a lot of adjectives in this one. That's not my hedgehog. Its nose is too shiny. So that's fun. Again, there's like 40 of these. They're $9.99, so these are super popular, a big bestseller. Um, so I don't know how you feel about flaps, but for this age range, we have a very cool series of flat books. They're the peak inside flat books. My daughter actually stole two of them while I was making this video, so they're definitely popular with this age range. Um, there's a lot of nonfiction, and then we just got a couple of Peek Inside a Fairy Tale. So this is Little Red Riding Hood, and there's also Cinderella now. It's okay. She can have them. She's happy. Just showing them. Oh, okay. Can you give them back to her? Yeah, she's got Peek Inside. Still Peek Inside. Yeah. It says Peek 
the side. So <laughs> these guys, um, they have Bye. flaps. The flaps are very heavy duty. They've still got cutouts. And these are like an introduction to nonfiction. I am a huge fan of these. I think that they're really beautiful. I love what they do with all the little cutouts and everything. They're, you know, they're board pages. So they're gonna hold up. Peek inside a space station. I think this page is so cute because you can um, get the little astronaut dressed. So he's normally like that. And then you can use the flaps to dress him up. They've actually, studies have shown that when you learn with the flap, it actually helps you retain the knowledge. So it's more than just something that's fun for your kiddo. Um, they're gonna learn by lifting the flaps as well. I, I love these. Okay, so those are the peek inside ones. Um, additionally, we have these lift the flap. This one is opposites. We have colors, numbers, first words. These might be a little old. Um, they kind of increase in age as the book goes on. Opposites is a fun one though. So you have, you know, over and then you lift the flap under. And kind of on like that. Hot, cold. First, last. And then uh, this is all above or below. So you have some things to find and you have to um, say whether they're above or below. All different ways to teach the information. This I can have that after your video. Yeah. Few, many. So that's a really great one. Again, awesome for your um, tactile learner or your child who appreciates a lot of sensory stimulation. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna stop the video. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. This next, these next two are awesome for <laughs> kiddos of a pretty wide age range. This is called "There's a Mouse About the House," and there's also a sister book called "A Squirrel's Tale." So they have a little character that comes out of this pocket on the front, and they are going to go through the story, literally. So, you put him in the slot, and he goes on to the next page. There's a little arrow, which is great for teaching um, left to right, because that's not the way that kids naturally read. So this is kind of like a first introduction to reading left to right. Okay. And then they get where they're going. And this, one second, this one does have a lot more text. A hungry mouse came out one night to look for food. I'll try the kitchen first, thought the mouse, and disappeared through a crack in the floor. And you turn the page and he's on the next page. And so the story continues on. We're always going left to right. What? He's right here. It's okay. So we follow the trail. He goes through the pantry. And he's in the cornflakes box. So I can imagine that your 18 month old would love these books. And again, there's also a similar one with a squirrel who is looking all over for his nuts. And it's cute because they give you a little pattern in case your mouse gets lost or your squirrel with some instructions on how to make a new one. Moving on, I wanted to show you the muddle and match books. There's six Oh in yeah, this yeah, 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 yeah. There's Can one, I have this one? There's one on monsters, sports, um, jobs, and then this is kind of like the girl version and uh, my son grabbed the boy version. So these have all different panels and you can put them match them up so that uh, the character is all the same and when you do there's a lot of alliteration which is really fun so here we have Petula the pretty and pink princess pops into the palace gardens to pick poppies with her pet puppy pickles kids love this super fun and learning again a lot of new vocabulary but what they love even more is to mix it up and make a really crazy story so now we have Enid, the excitable explorer, moves through the magical waters as she blushes and bows for being the best. So, super fun, a very tactile experience, but this one is going to have a little more text for you um, if, that's, if you're getting into reading a little bit of longer books or looking for something that's going to hold attention a little bit longer. So these are the muddle and match books, and they're only $8.99, which I think is... Whoop. Toddler attack. I think that is an insanely amazing price point for these. So we're only gonna cover one more. Ooh. Sorry about that. Okay, one more book. 
This is called um, a pullback book. We also have wind up ones, and those, y'all are. Come on. We also have wind up ones. Those are going to be for a little bit of an older age range because you need the fine motor skills that to be able video to, bad. to wind something. Um, but this is a pullback one. So it comes with a little figure. In this one, it has a bug. And there's a little bit of text, but this is aimed towards toddlers. That's why it's the pullback one. So there's not a lot of text. So the busy bug has been to see her friends, but it's time for her to go home now. Follow her as she travels around the garden. And there'll be a little bit of text on each page. The busy bug wiggles past the buzzing bees, around the beautiful butterfly, between the wiggly worms, beside the munching caterpillars. On the way, she spotted some blue flowers and a purple bug. Can you? So there's a little bit of a search and find feature. But what's really cool, you can rev this up just by pulling it back. Obviously, this would be easier on a table, not trying to show somebody in a video. But my 16-month-old daughter can do this herself. She's got it probably 75% of the time now. Hold on, baby. I, I broke some of it. Can you fix that for me? I broke some of it. No, no. No, 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 no.